Hey everybody, it's Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I'm going to show you how to do uh, low light plants. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put them on rocks. And uh, this is great for African cichlid tanks, this is great for any low light tanks, great for goldfish tanks, anything where anything's digging, or just a good way to plant Anubias, or uh, Java fern we've got here. So, yeah, let's get started. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need a rock. Uh, right here we've got Texas Holy Rock. Lava Rock's a good one. Plain River Rock. Uh, anything porous works a little bit better, but literally anything will work. This doesn't even have to be a rock. It could be uh, a castle, a plastic castle. It could be a fake piece of coral. It could be, you know, anything. I've seen some pretty cool things made when they're covered up with live plants. Uh, so you need something to attach to. Usually something weighted works better. It'll stay where you're going to put it. Uh, you're going to need some live plants. Uh, right here we've got Anubius Nana. We've got a couple of those. Uh, we've got Anubius Congensis here. And we've got another Congensis. And then we've got some Java Fern. Uh, and there's lots of varieties of that. There's also uh, African Fern or Bulbitis works as well. There is uh, Pinodifida, uh, Hygrophila Pinodifida that would work. So there's a lot of options. Um, but the Anubius and Java Fern are going to be the hardiest and easiest to work with and uh, best for goldfish and African cichlids and uh, you know low light tanks. So we've got something to weigh it down, we've got what we want to put on it, now we have gotta figure out how we're gonna attach it. A couple of ways. We could use thread, you can tie it on there, uh, you can use fishing line, you can also use uh, a rubber band. All of those in the past I've found can lead to trouble. I've had bristlenose placostomus and other types of coolie loaches and stuff. They get between the plant and the rock uh, and then they get cut up by either fishing line, uh, which that'll stay forever. A thread will eventually rot and that's a good thing. Uh, the rubber band eventually comes off as well but it's really unsightly. You can use zip ties, that'll stay forever. That one works decent, but it's kind of a little unsightly. Uh, but the best thing I found, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So all those ways technically work, but I'm gonna show you my favorite way. And my favorite way is actually super glue gel. And so a couple important things I'm gonna go over here. First, I only ever wanna use the gel. And the gel, because it's not super runny, what it'll do is you can make a bead of it, and we're going to be able to attach to that. The other thing here is I only use super glue gel. And so, um, you know, I re you realize I just said that, but the important part in here is this is the original super glue. So it is super glue brand. People ask me all the time at the shop, well, can I use Gorilla Glue? And the answer is, I have no idea. I don't use it. And, uh, you know, in theory, this is all in theory here, uh, as long as they all have the same active ingredients. All right, so what you're looking for is cyanoacrylate. And as far as I'm concerned, that is just liquid acrylic, basically. We basically take acrylic glue and we put enough of it in there so we are basically squirting out a little bit of acrylic and then when the glue kind of dissolves out or evaporates out we're left with an acrylic bond between the plant and the uh, the surface we're bonding to so here's here's a tip uh, you know just go get super glue gel you can find it at Home Depot you can find it at Fred Meyers you can find it at your grocery store um, but I always just search out super glue gel. Uh, we're gonna start carrying this to the store because I know people are gonna start using this all the time. I use it all the time. They look at me weird when I advise it, but now that there's a video, people, more people will do it. So, we got three things we need. We need something to hold it, uh, we need the plant, and we need something to affix it to the plant. And so, it's gonna be that easy. And we're gonna show you how you do all five of these rocks right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna need some super glue, you know, the other thing is, if you're, you know, not too handy working with super glue or you hate getting super glue on your hands, uh, go ahead and put some gloves on, something like that. But if you've never worked with super glue, we're just going to assume you never have. And that's going to make this tutorial a little bit longer, but a little bit easier. So, you get a little tube, and the reason to keep it in little tubes is they'll seal, 
seal itself off, super glue, you know, will bond. Uh, but you got to puncture the top there. And uh, luckily, this one has a self puncturing thing. All we got to do is screw it on. That's what we're going to do. We're going to screw this right on. All right, so now we've got some super glue we're going to be able to use. Next, we're going to prep a plant. So, I always buy them in the pot. They tend to, you know, be healthier. You can, you definitely use trimmings. You can, uh, you know, from another tank, something like that. But um, when you're looking at a store, I always buy it in the pot typically. Um, and you should be able to find Anubias almost anywhere. Uh, so, you know, remove the tag. Next thing, we got to get it out of the pot. So we're going to do that. Just pull it right off. There we go. Try not to, you know, disturb all the roots. Pot's off. Uh, the next, what we've got here, this is rock wool is what this is. It's kind of a cotton-like material, and it's what holds the roots in the pot. So what we're going to do next, we're just going to pull as much of that as away. So basically it kind of pulled in half, so there's half. We're going to try and pull some more out. The goal here is to get down to bare roots without uh, breaking all the roots off. You know, so it's going to take a couple seconds here. There's a lot of it gone. And you don't have to get absolutely all of it off, you can always take some off later, but we do want to get a good surface to bond with this plant. And I'll give you a little more education on Anubias here. And I, I guess I should explain, the reason we are going to put this on a rock is this is the way it wants to grow in the wild, it wants to grow attached to something. Alright, so, I have most of the rock wool off there, there's a tiny little bit, I could spend more time, but you don't want to watch that, so... We're going to assume I got 99% of it off already, and it really doesn't matter that much. This will come off in the tank, and you can pull it off later. Um, so, what we've got now is we've got a long rhizome, and that's what this kind of meaty part is. So on Anubius, we've got a rhizome, and uh, that's what this is here, this big fat part. And it grows laterally, so it's going to keep growing long, 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 and as you can see here, this little leaf right here is the newest growth. It's a little bit lighter color, and uh, it's going to come out from the end. And so what's going to happen is it's going to put up a leaf, and then it's going to put up another leaf, and another leaf, and it's going to get longer and longer and longer. Um, what we've got down here, these are all the roots. So we've got some green roots on there. We've also got white roots. And, uh, you know, it's all the same. It was all in the rock wool. Um, usually they're green if they're... Uh, exposed to the water and white if they're not. You could plant this in gravel. The important part would be that you would never cover this rhizome. And all these rhizome plants we're going to play with today, uh, that's what allows them to be on a rock. They don't really care whether gravel, they're planted in gravel, and uh, it's, you know, six other gravel like that, or if it's attached to a rock on top of it. Um, they grow both ways. So, this is what makes it great for an African cichlid tank or a goldfish tank because here comes the African cichlid, starts digging up, plant floats away. But if it's on a rock, they gotta move that rock. So, next we're gonna just take a look at our rock. Is there any good surface we have here? And you kinda just look around and if you've got a natural crevice in there, that might work. But I'm just gonna assume we don't. And uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry these roots a little bit. And you can just do that by dabbing it on a paper towel or um, an actual like bath towel like I'm working on here on this table. You just want to get it, you know, relatively dry. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a plant, we've got a rock. Now it's time for the part where I glue myself together. So I'm gonna open it up. We'll now open, and uh, you know I'm gonna attach to this surface. Why? Because I'm picking this surface and it's gonna work. I'm just gonna start putting some glue down. You know, when you first get it primed, there we go, we're coming out. And I'm just going to make a, you know, kind of a mess on here. I mean, not a crazy mess, but keep in mind, you will be able to see this glue once it's on there. But, alright. So that's the glue. If you guys can see that, it's right on top of there. Next, all we got to do is hold this plant against that glue. So I'm just going to come in right here. And so now, all you have to do is hold it against it for 
a minute or so and then we should be able to uh, just let it sit by itself and it will finish drying you know so while you're doing this you know obviously check out your fish tank and there's a little bit of glue back here I can kind of guide some of the roots into that if you want you know the trick here is there's a big glob of glue if I just stick my finger right in there well guess what I'm gonna have a bunch of glue on my hands so you can use a cap or something like that to kind of go hey get in there you know you can hold it and uh, that's all we're doing gluing and what's gonna happen so let me explain that while we're drying here what's gonna happen is eventually all these roots are gonna grab onto this rock if I had just crammed this plant between the two rocks, it eventually would have done this itself, but we want instant gratification, right? So we glue it on there. It's never coming back off unless I rip it off. And uh, all the roots are gonna grab onto it. That's why it makes all these big long roots in the wild. It would, you know, this root right here, this big root that's hanging off, would just be wrapped on this thing. It would be totally, you would have to pull it off like you're pulling ivy off a brick building. And uh, you can see here, you know, we're starting to get decently stable, you know, it's holding its own weight now. So we're just going to set that one down. Try to keep it on camera here for you. I'm going to sit on top of this rock, why not? Because that's what you do in Africa Cyclotank. I'm going to take this rock, I'm going to look at it. You know, I've kind of got a big crater right here. This is a good place to put the, the plant. It's going to have a little bit of shielding from any flow. And it just kind of makes sense that that's where it would have flown in you know, or settled in in the wild. If it had fallen off and go boop right here, great. Yep, and it's got a couple holes. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do this Java fern. And uh, same thing, gonna pull the pot off. There we go. And now, we're going to pull the rock wool off. As you can see, it's coming off real easy. We actually got a few Java ferns to play with in this one which is why I like these. I carry them in the pot because if you buy it solo, if I, if I bring these into my store and I bring them in solo, you're going to pay, you know, for this. You're going to get one plant. Well, in this pot, I actually got three. So now we can attach it to three different places on this rock. So, you know, if I can get that in the camera for you, I'm thinking something like one here and maybe, you know, one here and one here. And what's going to happen is eventually it's going to completely fill in when this java fern grows. Um, but let's go ahead and apply our glue. I'm going to do these one at a time because I don't have three hands, so I can't hold all three of them on there at the same time. So I'm going to make a dab of glue. You know, the more glue you use, the more it'll be on there. It also takes longer to dry. So, you know, don't put a whole tube on there. But so there's the next one. Uh, right here, this crevice, you can kind of see it's wet there. That's where all the glue is. We're literally just going to stick it right in there. So I just hold it and, you know, hold it for 30 seconds, a minute or something like that. You know, the goal here is finish this whole project up in about 10, 15 minutes because everything's sitting out of the water, you know. We don't want it to completely dry out. So while that one's going, Let's say we want to put one right here. Make a little bead of glue. There it is. That's kind of a lot of glue. It's going to take a little while. And boom. There we go. Yep. So there's some more. And we wanted one right here, I think. We'll put some glue right here. So if this was the normal super glue, I'd have glue all over my hand right now because it would just run right off this rock. So that's why you have to have the gel. And we're just going to stick that one right here. So that's rock number two, Java Fern, done basically. We're just going to let that one chill. Set that one right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these here. And then we're going to show you what they look like inside of inside of the tank so so we put the rocks we just put together with uh, Anubius and Java Fern on some rock here just dropped them in this 40 gallon breeder and uh, yeah I think it looks good it's definitely gonna grow in and the best part is you know it was so easy that's you can't fail with uh, these plants you know, they are very easy. Um, 
if you're just tuning in, this is the tank with the Pont Geatons. Uh, we use the Wonder Bulbs, so all these little things you see here are very easy also. They're going to grow in a round and give us all that length and produce the jungle tank that uh, I want to show you guys. So as this unfolds, we'll keep filming it. Uh, I think I'm actually going to grab some fish for this, so that way we add a little bit of life to it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please leave any feedback or questions down below. For any items featured in the video today, check out AquariumCoop.com.